I found Jakey, and I know what Hagen is planning. Spit it out, then. Zul plans to raid Samapesh. I see. I took him to the Rat IJ. What will happen to him? That's up to Sir Radzig. Consider it. I'm not so sure. Radzig always had a so Saddle up now. We'll ride to Samapesh. All right. There they are. I can see Zul's colors. It seems they want to parlay, sir. Parlay, eh? Right then. Let's parlay. God be with you, Sakuno. My respects, Sir Hagen. I don't believe I've had the pleasure since the siege of Lansenbach, wasn't it? An age ago, that was. In those days, we fought under the same banner. We did. And even today, we may yet part friends. After all, my quarrel is not with you, but with Kobila. The thing is... Your quarrel with Lord Cobbler is my affair, since he tasked me with keeping order in his lands. And you, Hagen, you are disturbing that order. No offence, sir, but you are just a mercenary whose main concern is keeping order in his purse. My dispute with Radzig Cobbler concerns a higher ideal. Cobbler shamed my family over a trifling misdemeanor. He hanged my father, Raised our castle to the ground, gave our property away to his family and cronies. And for that, I demand just retribution. But you don't have to stand in my way, Kuno. I'm well aware why you serve Ratzig. You owe him a favor. And from what I've heard, it's not the first time you've had to pay him back. It won't be the last either. The fact of the matter is, you fight Cobbler's battles for him, and you've little or nothing to show for it. If you accept my offer, on the other hand, you can ride away from here a rich man. What do you say, sir? Kuno, you can't do it. You're making a common mistake, Henry. There's a difference between what a man can't do and what he ought not to do. In this case, the difference is the size of Hagen's offer. Have you no honor at all to sell yourself to the highest bidder? The only bidder. Radzig never offered me a groschen. Because you owe him a favor. And this is the third time I've had to pay him back. My conscience is clean. Hmm. Tell me, Kuno, what do you think makes a good mercenary? If I knew that, I'd have a marble palace in Florence. I'd sit all day on a golden throne drinking wine. But I suppose for a start, he should be skilled in warfare. Oh, that's how you see it. But what about those who enlist your service? What they value is loyalty and fulfilling your duty. 
A mercenary who turns after coin like a vein after the wind isn't worth his salt. An eloquent speech, but like I said, I've paid Radzig back quite enough. So if you don't mind, I'll take that pile of coin and fuck off. And then what? Do you think anyone will ever hire you again after they hear of this? With that much money, I won't have to worry about that for a while. Anyway, everyone will understand how things really stand. Do you really think Sir Radzig and others like him will share your interpretation of mercenary's honor? <laughs> Not a chance. Everyone will see you for the swindler and turncoat you are, and Sir Radzig and I will make damn sure you won't come out of this smelling of roses. Hmm. Are you threatening me? Call it what you like. Fine. It seems you have learned something after all. You'll stay then? Obviously. Well, it didn't seem so obvious to me. Come on now, Henry. Don't take offence. And let's go and deal with Hagen. It's true, Sir Hagen. This is not the first time I've paid Radzig back. Nor will it be the last. But then... He did save my neck from the noose, so I'll be long beholden to him. I'll make no bargain with you, but I will take your silver. <laughs> you would fight me? You're a damn fool. I've no wish to fight, but neither do you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have tried to buy me off. So it seems that we're evenly matched. Let's see who fortune favors. So be it. Thank <laughs> you. 